The last words of Jesus. The darkness was lifted from the cross, and in clear, trumpet-like tones, that seemed to resound throughout creation, Jesus cried, It is finished, Father, into your hands, do I commit my spirit. A light encircled the cross, and the face of the Savior, shone like the glory of the sun. He then bowed his head upon his breast, and died. Amid the awful darkness, apparently forsaken by God, Christ had drained the last residue, from the cup of human woe. By faith, Christ was the victor. Never had the earth witnessed such a scene. The multitude stood paralyzed, and with slowed down breath, gazed upon the Savior. Again, darkness settled upon the earth, and a hoarse rumbling like that of a heavy thunder was heard. There was a violent earthquake, the people were shaken together in heaps. There was wild confusion and horror. In the surrounding mountains, rocks were broken apart and went crashing into the plains. Sepulchres were broken open and the dead were cast out of their tombs. Creation seemed to be shivering to atoms. Priests, rulers, soldiers, executioners, and the people, mute with terror, laid prostrate upon the ground. The priest was officiating at the temple. The lamb representing Christ had been brought to be slain. Clothed in his significant and beautiful dress, the priest stood with a lifted knife, as did Abraham when he was about to sacrifice his son. With intense interest, the people looked on. But the earth trembled and quaked, for the Lord himself drew near. With a shattering noise, the inner veil of the temple was torn from top to bottom, by an unseen hand. All was terror, and confusion, the priest was about to slay the victim, but the knife dropped from his nerveless hands and the lamb escaped. The symbol had met its true representation in the death of God's Son. The great sacrifice had been made. The way into the holiest was laid open, and a new and living way was prepared for all. No longer need sinful sorrowing humanity, to await the coming of the High Priest. There was now an end to all sacrifice and offering for sin. The Son of God is come according to His word, Lo I come, in the volume of the book it is written of me, I have come to do your will, O God. By His own blood, He entered once into the holiest place having obtained eternal redemption, for you and for me. To make sure that Jesus was dead, one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and blood and water flowed out. These things happened in fulfillment of the scripture which says, none of his bones will be broken, and they will look upon him whom they pierced. But it was not the piercing of the spear, it was not the pain of the cross, that caused the death of Jesus. That cry uttered with a loud voice, at the moment of his death, the stream of blood, and water that flowed from his side declared that he died of a broken heart, broken by sin. 